Lit Man come. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me start over. Lit Man Tuck is coming back at you with another book review, and I'm gonna do a continuation because I haven't really been reading anything else. I'm doing a continuation of Insta Millionaire from Pocket FM Radio, and like just like I said before, these stories they go into a straight line. So I'm very conflicted. I'm very conflicted right now because I'm addicted. I'm hooked. And I'm kind of getting attached to uh, the main character, Alex. But the thing is, it's going in a straight line. There's really not too many twists and turns. Now, I will say this. Whenever I read books, I do like very dark characters. And the book started off kind of like a, kind of just very like, so there's a lot of meanness, meanness in the book, right? But it starts off as like very immature, very childlike. But now, man, these guys are getting kind of dark. Alex is getting kind of dark. That's the main character. And the funny thing is, man, um, it seems like the more money somebody has in, the, in this book, the more strong and power, like the more physically strong they are. That's what it kind of seems like during the book, man. And uh, I am addicted to it. I ain't gonna lie. I still feel like it goes in a straight line and I'm very conflicted. I woke up this morning and I had a light bulb moment. And I know why, why, I know why I'm so conflicted about the books. I've been reading books. I've been an avid book reader since like 1990. So it's been over 30 years. Uh, I've been a just very avid reader, all sorts of different types of books, right? Fiction, nonfiction. I really like fantasy. You know, like back in the early 90s, I used to read a lot of Pierce Anthony. In two, uh, 2000s, I did a lot of R.A. Salvatore, Ice Wendell, and all that fun stuff. And then, you know, I just float around, you know, some nonfiction, uh, some self-help books and all that good stuff. And I'm always learning stuff. I think uh, the thing with this book is I'm hooked on the story. It's almost like a soap opera, but I don't learn anything. Normally, when uh, the authors write their books, they put a lot of time and research. One of my friends, she's a she's an author, and she, you know, one time she asked me a question about the military because I was in the army. But they always put so much research into these books, and you just learn. You just pick up stuff that you didn't even think you would learn. So funny story, when I was in training, I, I went to the army as a combat medic. And so when I was in training, I took my training seriously. But when it came to the classroom part, I kind of skated by, right? And I made like B's, you know, like middle B's. You had to have like at least an 85, I believe, in the past. But I, I made like middle B's, sometimes a low B. Never really scored high on the test, right? Like the written test. And one day, um, because I would rather read a book, I would rather read a book than uh than than read my studies right now when it came to the field training i was on it i was on top of things right and so i'm reading this pierce anthony book um and this is in like the early 2000s and the book is it's kind of like a post um post nuclear exposure explosion book where all the characters are the surviving people from a nuclear explosion and there's like different nuclear, uh, there's different radiation pockets everywhere. And so people are living like savages. They pretty much have to start their lives all over. And so to make a long story short, I never studied for a test the whole entire year. I would rather read my books. I had all of my books. I was reading my Eric Jerome Dickey. I even had other people. I even had other soldiers, like especially the girls reading the Eric Jerome Dickey's book, man. It was so funny. Uh, I was so proud of that, right? But anyway, so... This book is talking a lot about post, um, post nuclear explosion, radiation and stuff. And the main character got caught in radiation. He just walked right through radiation and he was having all the different symptoms and they had to do the treatment for uh, his radiations. And it was just going into detail about the effects of radiation. And so the one of the hardest tests that we took all year, I was the only person ever to score. I was the only person that year to score a on it. Right. So everybody was mad at me. So, um, they had a test and it was like uh, medic type stuff, but it was talking about chemical warfare. Uh, what if there was radiation? What if, what if chemicals were, were involved in war? How would you do the treatment and all that fun stuff, right? And so that was the by far the hardest test. For me, that was the easiest test because the amount of research and the amount of knowledge put into that book, I was able to learn stuff. I've learned so much over the years, right? And so people were mad. They thought I cheated on the test, but I didn't. And I was just laughing because they knew I didn't study. They thought I cheated somehow, but I told them, hey, I was reading this book and it had, and it's all about radiation, nuclear, post-apocalyptic, all that type of stuff, right? So let me um, go back to this book, right? This Insta Millionaire. And I have become attached to the characters 
and they don't do chapters, they do episodes. It looks like, it has a look and feel of Netflix. It has, uh, the books have a video, the characters have a video game feel to them. Even though it's the drama, it's almost like shock, shock drama. But the thing is, well, one thing that I noticed is that I have not learned anything in the book. So I've been entertained and it's been in a straight line. So it's very easy to listen to. It's all, it's very, I don't know. Um, but one thing that I did notice, I have not learned anything. Normally when I read a book, I'm always picking up stuff. I'm always learning stuff. And you can tell the amount of research these authors put into the book. And this, like for, for whatever reason, like this, um, the, the pocket FM, and I've been going through different books. They're just a little different. They have stuff, but it's just something a little bit off of battle, but they're still addictive. They remind me of those, um, those games that people play is like a go fetch or you, you have to uh, play, you know, make like a shape, like match up the colors. And it's kind of like, I don't want to say it's totally mindless. There is kind of a story to it, but it goes into a straight line. Some books, I really have to focus like, okay, who's this character? Who's the main character? Damn, what was that girl's name? What was the old girl's name? And sometimes I forget and I got to go back and reread it. Or they, they'll say something real deep where there's a lot of research put in. I'll learn something new. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. This book is packed with rich, with just thick content. This book, I'm telling you, it goes in a straight line. And I'll say that I'm not learning anything, but I'm still addic addicted. Dick, see, I can't even talk no more, man. My my literature has gone down a, a notch from listening to this, man. I'm hooked. I like it, but I'm not learning anything like I normally do in a book. That's one of the things that I noticed. And that's just what I want to share, man, because I, I read books or I listen to books and then I share. I, I Hopefully, hopefully this does not uh, change the way I listen to books. Hopefully this doesn't permanently just take me down a notch and make me uninterested in certain books because I've switched a lot of my stuff to Audible because I just don't, I don't have a lot of time to read. Uh, and so in that regard, I have changed on the way I read books. I read books sometimes, but most of the times I do listen to books. Now I'm listening to these types of stories where there's no um, like just major research put into it. And the people that made this might hear me say, oh, we put a lot of research into this, that, 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 whatever. I'm not learning stuff at the same clip that I normally do when I read books. It doesn't matter the genre. Like, let's say I do fantasy. I'm still learning about life. I'm still learning about different places. I'm still learning, you know, like even if, like, let's say they're a drug dealer. I know how to sell drugs. I'm not going to do it, but they have all sorts of different. I, I guess people got to be careful, man, because there are people that have carried out crimes after they read a really good book with a bunch of content stuff in it, right? So anyway, that's all I got, man. That's my part two. Hopefully, this is my final review on uh, Insta Millionaire. I don't know, man, but the book has taken a dark, a dark turn where the main character, Alex, man, is just becoming, uh, he's becoming ruthless, man. He's, he's pretty much turned into a beast, in my opinion. But that's all I got for this one, man. I'll see you on the next one.